Hey everybody, I got like two minutes, but let me show you really quick how we used a ratio table today to solve multiplication problems like this one, 8 times 6 equals P. So this is just kind of my structure for my ratio table. And I'm going to start it out by saying, what is one group of 6? One group of 6 is going to be 6. So one group of 6 is 6. This is the beginning of my ratio table. And i got to get all the way down to 8. So I'm going to go all the way down here. Go ahead and put my 8 in. That's really messy. We'll adjust it. You get it. That's the 8. And i got to figure out what goes right here. 8 groups of 6 equals how many? So I'm going to start with 1. And let's say we double that. We can do anything we want, any operation we want to it. But we're going to double that 1 and make it into a 2. That means we're going to double the 6 because we have to do the same thing to the top as we do to the bottom and bottom and top. Vice versa. 6 doubled, that's going to be... 12. Now I have 2 times 6 equals 12. That's fun. Um, next I'm going to double the 2. And that is going to get me all the way to 2 times 2 is 4. And because I doubled the top, i got to double the bottom. And 12 times 2 is 24. Woohoo! We are halfway there. We have to get to 8. We are at 4 already. What do we do? We're halfway there. Let's double it. I'm going to skip that whole section and not even need it, even though it's extra. Not a big deal. I'm going to double the 4 and get to 8. That's true. But now I have to do 24 plus 24. Mm, let's see. Well, let's use an algorithm. We have 24 plus 24. That means I have the 4 plus 4. And I get 8. So let's, uh, And then I add 2 plus 2 and I get 4. So like I've said, you don't have to have these facts memorized, but this is one strategy you can use to help you get to multiples of six. And setting up a ratio table is a really powerful tool. Good luck, and don't forget your homework.